So let's get started with our basic lighting and global illumination setup. First of all, let's uh, rename this material to our uh, test. Sorry. So test material for loner. And this is just okay for the moment. So this is the material that has been applied to this uh, clones. The next thing I'm going to create a new material double click and this material will be the material for the studio and the uh, other cloners that are right now disabled. Let's uh, select their cloner and enable them. There we go. This is going to be the material for these guys. I have, um, as you can see, a few colors here that we're going to be using throughout this uh, the remaining lessons. Uh, the first material is this color, as you can see the R, G and B value are 41. Uh, turn off the specular value, we're not going to have reflections for the moment and I, I'm not going to uh, use reflection at all. Uh, so let's uh, apply this uh, material to our studio and also to our uh, main cloner. Okay, let's just uh, change this to quick shading so we have a basic idea. So let's uh, quickly create a sky and I'm going to my content browser and uh, in your uh, prime folder materials HDRI you find this HDRIs that uh, you can use them in your Cinema 4D scenes and let's go to for example this one and I'm, I'm going to add this one to my scene and apply it to my sky. Uh, open the material up, go to the luminance channel uh, apply a filter so down here and go to the filter change the saturation to negative 100 percent so it becomes a black and white and let's add a bit of contrast here not that much just a bit and this is our uh, first uh, thing that we're gonna do the next thing I'm gonna add a simple uh, area light and the area light uh, I am going to its detail tab make the area shape to be a sphere and let's uh, put it up let's sort of make our uh, details a bit less so we have a bit more control over what we do okay now for this uh, guy I'm going to let's put it up uh, the outer radius, let's go to something like 500 centimeters and change the fall off type here to uh, again inverse square clamped. Okay, and let's just I want to really have a very big light, so select these lights and um, Make sure you have the light selected and um, I think the outer radius needs to be bigger so let's go to something like 2000 centimeter and down here for the fall off let's add that as you can see so let's uh, see how this is going to work out for us finally just going through all the way so all the studio is being covered by this huge light and Let's see where we are right now and make sure you have area shadow turned on. Uh, let's uh, go to our render setting, change our render setting. I'm going to use, uh, I'm not sure really yet to use standard or physical render. Physical render would be possibly quicker and we see how it's going to work out for us. And the next thing is to add the global illumination. We're going to be using Iridian's cache legacy method uh, for the uh, our primary method and our secondary method. We're going to be using light mapping and change the uh, maximum depth. Let's just have something like 32. The sample for now, we're going to add it, change it to low record density, also to low. Go to your light mapping and change the path count to something like. Uh, 3000 so we have a bit quicker render and also I'm going to right click here and add ambient occlusion and uh, maximum ray length let's uh, reduce it to something like 20 centimeter and there we go um, if you go to the physical render I think we can start having some test render and see what's uh, 
everything going. Let's just get closer a bit to our scene and add the detail to high. Change the detail to high and see what's going to happen. Let's just get closer a bit more realistic. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's uh, hit render and see what we're going to have. Just I'm going to pause the render while I'm rendered so you don't have to watch me render all the time. Okay, so this is our first basic render. It took almost 16 uh, seconds. And I'm actually quite happy with this uh, basic lighting and it gives us this nice uh, renders. I am possibly going to get closer a bit and see what we can have in a situation like this. Let's render it uh, and again, pause the video. Okay, there we go. I think uh, we are good to go. The basic setup, it's ready and uh, uh, we are gonna have to add more tweaking for our uh, lighting definitely. But uh, in the next lesson, we're gonna go through and add them different materials and different colors to our uh, main uh, logo cloner and uh, see what's going on.